for all of you who are a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! Or have had a rival in the past. This is our Yu-Gi-Oh! True Rival Series. It's time to duel. Hello and welcome. Time to start a new series for Gaming Lear. Um, it's going to be interesting. We're switching from Pokemon to Yu-Gi-Oh! For those who stuck through the Pokemon Snap Challenge, thank you and welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! series we're about to begin. And for those new, thank you for checking us out. So, Happy and me went through Pokemon Snap together. Go ahead and watch that series. Pretty cool. Ended up pretty well. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. It was pretty cool. Uh, me and Happy will actually do more in the future. For right now, though, we're switching to Yu-Gi-Oh! And for Yu-Gi-Oh! One of my oldest friends, Daniel. So, Daniel will be my challenger for the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, which is also called the Yu-Gi-Oh! True Rival series. And what I mean by that is we're truly rivals. We've been rivals in so many things since we met in first grade. Um, shoot, some of the first Pokemon games for the Game Boy. I remember uh, playing Gold and Silver, and he had... He was at Kanto, and I was like, wait, you can get more than eight badges in this game? That was crazy. But regardless, now we're dueling. Um, so the True Rival series. Basically, as you can see, there's a wheel here. This wheel, we're pretty much putting the main character of Gen 1 in here. So, not Gen 1, um, thing in Pokemon. Season 1. And what I mean by Season 1 is Duelist Kingdom. So, there's... Also, a couple others like Bones and um, Mako, but not enough to really make a decent deck with. So these are kind of like the characters you could get and get a decent deck with. So the goal is here is we're going to spin the wheel. We're not going to know who each other have, so we might even get the same character. And we're going to build the deck based off of any single card they've had using Yu-Gi-Oh!.Fandom. So by using these deck... Um, deck lists, we're not deck lists, but basically I could go through any series and it'll tell me, hey, this character used these cards. Or games, this character used these cards in these games. And basically, any card out of their whole collection through any series or games, we can throw into here. So, it's a true rival series in both a sense that I'm facing a true rival of my own, but also the rivals in Yu-Gi-Oh! series. So, Let's say I roll Weevil, and Dan rolls Joey. He has the whole Joey catalog at his disposal, and I have the whole Weevil catalog. Obviously, I'd be at a huge disadvantage, but hey, it could happen. We're probably going to do a couple episodes in Season 1 before we move into Season 2. And when I mean Season 2, I mean their next big challenge. It's Battle City. So let's begin, and let's see what we're doing in the Duelist Kingdom. Come on, something good. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Uh, no, not Rex. <gasps> no, not even Weevil. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And here I jinx myself with Weevil. Okay. So, oh, gosh, he's gonna get, like, Yugi or somebody. I'm gonna be screwed. All right, um, <laughs> so I gave myself Weevil, and I probably gave him Joey by speaking that into existence now. That's crazy. All right, so... I want to go build a deck out of any single possible Weevil card. There's a couple good ones. Um, Duel Links is available, uh, and so is Insect Queen, and just pretty much anything. Um, this is going to be interesting. Well, I'll see you when I build my deck. Hello, Yu-Gi-Oh fans. I am Dan, and I'm here with my friend Mark, and we plan to duel it out. So as background, I have known Mark since first grade, and we have been rivals in games from Pokemon to Skylanders, and of course, Yu-Gi-Oh! So here's what we're going to do and how it's going to work. We select a few characters from each season of the anime and start to duel it out. We start at season one and work our way through. As more characters are added, we'll, each season we'll choose them to put them on a wheel as you can see now on screen. We spin that wheel, we figure out who we're going to get. So we don't know who we're going to get each week until the wheel tells us. And we don't know who our partner is going to get until we duel it out. So this ought to be fun. So after that, after we know who we're going to choose, we use yu gi -Oh! Fandom.com. Look up the decks they've had, 
both in anime and video games because that way we can add more characters because that way they have more cards to work with rather than some of them don't have enough to make a 40 card deck let alone some add enough characters to have a 40 card deck so we thought we'd spread it out and have a little bit more fun then we uh make the deck on dueling nexus and use those decks to face each other gonna be fun choice so with Yugi and Bakura, we can also use the Yami versions, or Yami versions, however you say that properly. Uh, again, because they're technically the same person, or at least work together. So we're going to use both their sets of cards to mix together and to make a better deck, just so it's more interesting. Now on this list, the only ones I really don't want to get are Keith and Bakura and Rex. Now, Rex, I like dinosaur cards, but I don't know if I could get the playstyle right. And I know I can't get Keith or Bakura's card sets right, because they're just not my playstyle at all. So, that one's kind of... The only one I'm neutral on is Mai. I like Harpies, but they're also somewhat harder to use, especially against some of the bigger decks like Kaiba, Yugi, and Pegasus, and even Joey. And those are the four I'd like because uh, my first card was Red Eyes Black Dragon. And that was the first deck I beat Mark with was a Red Eyes Black Dragon, just dragon deck. So if I get Joey, it'd be kind of awesome. Uh, I actually use a uh, Dark Magician deck in real life now. So Yugi would be fun. Uh, my friend I train against with uh, Matt is used to using tunes so i could really get behind how using those would go and of course kaiba dragons is always fun so let's see what we get this time all right here we go oh phew not keith all right kaiba here we go time to play some blue eyes cards this is going to be fun all right, I will go ahead and make my deck, and uh, I will get back to you when uh, it's time to duel. All right, we are back, and I know I said I'll see you back when we're dueling, but I misspoke. Here's the deck I made. Now, before all of you yell at me, because you see a specific card that you all know that Kaiba has not used, like I said, the first uh, deck that I beat Mark with was a Red Eyes Black Dragon deck that was just dragon themed all over. So I thought it'd be funny and a good homage to throw that in for the first duel. Now, after the second and third duel, since it's a best of three, I will remove it. But I hope to be able to use it in the first duel just for a old memory and old fun sake. So I'll probably switch in the... White Horned Dragon, Axe Dragonette, or Divine Ragnarok, depending on which one's needed most uh, when I face him. And that's why it's in the side deck. And that's why I have Red Eyes Black Dragon there. So now to the actual deck uh, for Kaiba I made. Of course, had to have three Blue Eyes White Dragons. Of course, had to have three Kaiba Men to go with the Blue Eyes because it can't have a kaiba deck without kaiba men to summon blue eyes white dragon really easy and blue eyes white dragon is the whole staple of the deck so i went with uh fusion dragon dual mode beast and what i like about this one is it is a seven star monster but its effect allows me to summon special you know normal summon or set it its attack and defense does become halved but if i'm in a you know, part where I just need to summon something so I don't get booped in the life points to death. That's good. And then if I can summon it later on, ta-da, I have a 2800. Um, so the Whitehorn Dragon, I like this guy because it not only uh, banishes spells from your opponent's graveyard, which in some decks is really good if they can take you know, cards out of the graveyard and keep using them. It's really annoying. So this not only stops that from happening, but also gets him a lot of attack points relatively quickly. So he goes from 22 to possibly, was it, 5? So it would be 3,500 for one sacrifice, which is really nice. I also added Thunder Dragons because Thunder Dragons are really good for... 
Uh, one, twin-headed thunder dragons, easy to summon, nice. Two, if I use these, which I'll explain here in a minute, it banishes cards from the graveyard as well as the field. So if they're in the graveyard, I can still summon these guys. Uh, along with, um, I also have the five-headed dragon, which since it needs five different dragon types... Even if these guys are in the graveyard, which since his effect throws one in there already, I have to use less cards on the field to summon the big boys. So I think that's a good way to help that. So we all need four or less, four star or less monsters to, you know, start the duel. Otherwise you can be in real trouble. Uh, so I used a couple of normal four stars because that works with rebirth which again has to be a normal type monster. So if I can't use that on my blue eyes, I can still use it on him to hopefully, or hopefully summon, you know, uh, one of the bigger dragons or at least protect my life points if nothing else. This card again is mainly for defending my life points. Since it has 2000 attack and is a four star, yes, if I attack with it, it goes into defense. But honestly, with this one, I plan to just put it out on the field and let it protect my life points. So until he gets whatever card is stronger, it's a good stall card. And that also, with stalling with it, I can also get some of my other monsters out and then start beating him down. I like this card because Mirage Dragon 1600 is okay, 600 defense is doesn't matter you want it in attack position or at least face up anyway so when you have this on the field your opponent can activate traps during the battle phase this card again it once it dies summons a dragon type monster with 1500 or less attack that's mainly going to be summoning these guys again to help protect life points and it 1400 is not too bad for first season ish type cards so i went with uh since i have a lot of fusions there's a lot of cards that deal with fusion so king of the swamp can be changed in for any card who's specifically named on the uh card so blue eyes white dragon or blue eyes ultimate dragon really easy so all i need is two blue eyes and him boom uh, another thunder dragon and him boom uh also i want to use uh, this card, which is Dragon Master Knight, I'll explain here in a minute. So I can switch in the Blue Eyes Ultimate with him and create Dragon Master Knight. So I also use the Dark Hex Dragon because, again, should uh, mixed in for anything to help summon Five Headed Dragon. So hopefully I'm correct and that works. If not, I'll have to switch that out for just another King of the Swamp, but I'm hoping it still works. I can't remember specifically if it will or not, but we will see. Uh, Future Fusion, love this card. First standby phase, you show a card, get the cards out of your deck into your graveyard, and uh, then next turn after that, you summon that card. Yes, it is basically, I can use it and then it can be destroyed, and I don't get the summon, which stinks. But again, with uh, Dragon's Mirror, since I can summon using the field or the graveyard, I still have a second chance to use those cards towards summoning the big monsters. So these two will work well, because if they can't get rid of the um, spell card, it stays on the field, it doesn't get destroyed, so it either has to destroy that card or the card I summon, so it becomes an equipped. So again, it kinda covers each other. Now I only want two each, since his effect is also available to get rid of them and use him as a fusion card. So, oh, then I went with uh, Creature Swap, because as we all know, if I have a weak monster out on the field, and he ends up having a big monster on the field, I can just switch that. Plus, if uh, he uses certain cards, I can actually... Uh, say he also has Kaiba and has dragon cards. I can switch the dragon cards 
So maybe I get a blue eyes and can give him my weak monster. So I'm hoping that'll help cover a few weaknesses here and there. And also, if uh, he has a deck that ends up actually having Black Luster Soldier, I can switch Steel's Black Luster Soldier and hopefully try to get the uh, Dragon Master Knight as well. So, there's that. I also went with Stamping Destruction, because it not only destroys Spell or Trap cards on the field, but uh, then it inflicts 500 points of damage to its controller. So, not only can I stop his Spell and Trap cards from hitting me and screwing my plans up but i also get the extra damage off again uh quick play spells mystical space typhoons great for destroying spell trap cards on the field and with the quick play it covers you really well which is nice discard one card which won't be too great but destroy all face-up monsters on the your opponent can, uh controls always a good card in dragon dense decks is tyrant wing uh, for gives you 400 attack and defense so for these weaker guys I can power them up if I really need to all right so next is dragon's rage to dragon type monsters you control inflict piercing battle damage when they attack defense position monster which since can it's continuous is really nice again we have a lot of big hitter monsters here so if he gets to the point where he has to stall using defense position monsters I still get the piercing battle damage so I'm hoping that'll again any amount of life point damage you can do is always a good thing at least in my case so I, I like to play that way um, this card again it gets you normal summon a monster from your graveyard but it has to be a normal monster such as the red eyes which I'd have to remove after first battle of course the Blue Eyes White Dragons and Divine Dragon Ragnarok. So again, I can use it to summon these guys and either have another big hitter or be able to special summon yet another big creature, let alone if I need a meat shield or I can even summon Divine Dragon Ragnarok and then use that as another fusion material if I have to do it a certain way and boom there we go i have called the haunted because again a lot of my cards are special you know effect monsters and even these guys tend to be effect or some of them do so they wouldn't be able to be used with birthright so call the haunted just covers basically all cards instead of only normals which is again nice uh, i used i have no clue how to say this but sakuretsu armor when the opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster, destroy that target. So again, it covers my defenses. So say they're going for a direct attack, it gets rid of the monster that he's attacking with, which can get rid of some big monsters a lot of the time. And with Mirror Force, everybody loves it. You declare an attack and destroys all attack position monsters. Again, it's a good way to get rid of good monsters way to slow your opponent down and way to cover your ass so it's really nice when trying if you're slow start or just in trouble it's a good way to kind of reset the board sometimes target one spell or trap card your opponent controls destroy that target and then i get a set of spell or trap card from my hand so if i have too many cards on the field and i need to stop their attacks or stop their spell trap cards use it then i get is put another one of these spell trap cards on the field right after so ring of destruction is kind of risky but it's fun during your opponent's turn target one face up monster your opponent controls whose attack is less than or equal to their life points so now we move on to the extra deck i already said it the thunder dragon because thunder dragons and since this is a palm a fusion deck mixed with dragon deck It'll be easy to summon a lot of the time. Uh, I used one Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which is still some of the same way regular Blue Eyes are. But at the end of the damage step, if this is the only card that I control, I can, uh, and this fusion card attacked, then I can send another Blue Eyes fusion from the extra deck to the graveyard and can attack again up to two times 
which is brilliant. So three Blue Eyes Ultimate. Because I'm going to be hopefully summoning more blue regular Blue Eyes Ultimate than a Neo's, uh, the Neo version. Also, if you noticed, on a lot of the uh, special ones that have multiple, you know, iterations and card designs like Blue Eyes, um, I tried to use one of each of the one my favorite ones or ones that I have in real life just to make it more fun that's like uh, five headed dragon since it's all dragons in the deck of course I'm gonna run that card especially if, since I have fusion cards and that's a big staple of the deck always having multiple five headed dragons is great because it can't be destroyed by dark earth fire water or wind monsters that covers a lot, and then of course 5,000, 5,000, hard to beat over without sp effects or spell or trap cards, which plus it just looks awesome in both art styles, so that's kind of fun, and then I, like I said, I mentioned Dragon Master Knight, uh, I don't have Blackluster Soldier in this deck, of course, uh, but I do have Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, so since uh, I have this card, the King of the Swamp, since it has two cards that are specifically listed, if I am able to summon Blue Eyes Ultimate and then have this guy and I'm able to fusion summon for whatever reason, boom, I get Dragon Master Knight. 5,000, 5,000, which is again still really good. It's this, it goes from 4,500 uh, 4, to basically five headed dragon. But the added effect is it gains 500 attack for each dragon monster I control, except for this card. And for my side deck, I have uh, another Whitehorn Dragon because I like its uh, attack boost. Uh, I also like the defense of the four star Axe Dragonette. And again, Divine Ragnarok, easy four star to summon. And one of those three will be replacing Red Eyes after the first duel. Um, depending on how the deck plays out, and again, if I'm able to use the Dark Hex Sealed Fusion the way I want to, I figured having another Future Fusion in Dragon's Mirror, uh, on hand is good. So if I need more ability to fusion quickly, I can throw those in without problem. And again, depending on what deck he's using, another creature swap to steal his monsters would be good. So that way maybe it slows, steals something with a good effect. And even if I can't use it, then at least it'll slow his system down. If you can't tell, I really like stalling and covering myself. Because I've figured out that I do best when... If my opponent can't do what they want to do, and I can just stall them constantly... I have more fun and am easier to find it easier to stop my opponent in general. And another Stamping de Destruction, another Mystical Space Typhoon, uh, Birthright, Call of the Haunted, uh, Armor, Mirror Force. I did put Dark Mirror Force in the side deck because I didn't know if I'd be able to use it and I find it more of a depending on which deck he's using, which would, if it would be effective or not. Because again, that only destroys the defense position monsters. It doesn't destroy the attacking monster or um, anything else. So it's kind of one of those, if he's stalling and attacking, it'd be useful. Another Dust Tornado and this one, I don't know if I want to use or not. Again, it's banned, but where since we're using uh, theme decks that are based off of characters in the anime, since he has used this, and since I'm using uh, Dragon's Mirror, since it banishes the uh, Fusion Monster from your trade, banishing fusion materials from your field or graveyard, I figure having a way to bring those back would be a good idea, just in case things get hairy. But I didn't want to put it in the deck because I like the setup. So that's my deck. The reason I have this up is I thought it was a card he had. I'm very upset that he doesn't he hasn't used it, even in uh, video games, which upsets me. Because it's one of the best dragon cards, uh, trap cards I know of. 
and I love using it in my dragon decks, but tears are shed for the card that won't make it into the deck because darn it, why couldn't you use that one in the anime or at least video games? But oh well. So uh, that's what's going to happen and we will see what Mark gets and how this goes. Hopefully I can release some Dragon Chaos and uh, have some fun. So I will see you all when this duel goes. All right, well, it took some time and a lot of digging, but I finally figured out, and don't get me wrong, please let me know what the better option was, but I think I figured out a good deck. First of all, the title just explains it. Out of all the characters to get, let me just look at this, I think I removed Weevil already, but out of all the characters to get, I think the only one I would have wanted less is Bakura. Because I would have tried Destiny Board. <laughs> but anyways, after looking at some of the video game lists, obviously Duel Links and uh, the Speed Duels, um, like that 20 or 30 card like deck, there was actually a decent amount of cards. Um, don't know which kind of route I want to run yet, so I kind of just put a lot of things together, and in the side deck, in between duels, I might swap a couple things around. So, you know, Petite Moth with Cocoon of Evolution to go to a perfectly ultimate Great Moth. Threw Great Moth down here just in case because, you know, six turns is a long time. Long time. Um, Insect Queen, just in case I get to that first and, you know, just want to start going with Insect Queen. Um, some Deck Searchers, Flying Kama Kairi. Pinch Hopper. Once again, just some searching. Four-star Ladybug. Just because, and honestly, I'm starting to think, like, why didn't I add more four-star Ladybug? Hmm. Maybe in the side deck, get rid of Great Moth? Because I'm going to be honest, I'm probably not going to use these three or this after the first duel. Like, I'm almost positive I don't want to, but I have no real attack monster otherwise. We'll, we'll go with what I have. A Coon of Evolution. I put three just in case I want to use it as just a defensive monster. Um, Gokipan, one destroyed by battle, and since the graveyard, you can add one insect monster with 1500 attack or less from your deck to your hand. So another searcher. The Parasite Parasite. This is going to be very helpful in combination with Insect Barrier or DNA Surgery, an old combo. But hey, you know, see if it works. Otherwise, um, Turning my opponent's monsters into insects is also very helpful. I There's a trap card somewhere, and I'll, I'll get to it. So, Maneater Bug, obviously, flip, destroy a monster. Change of Heart, Rageki, Dark Hole, Pot of Greed, Swords Revealing Light, Graceful Charity, Monster Reborn, Mystical Space Typhoon, all just obvious. Uh, multiplication of Ants. So, you tribute an insect monster on your side of the field, special summon two army ant tokens. So this is kind of, and they can't be used as Tribute Summon, but they could be used as Insect Queen Fodder. So if I were to go from, I don't know, just anything really, let's say I have a Petite Moth and nothing else, I'll just throw it on the field and all of a sudden use this and I already have Insect Queen on the field, then I have two attacks instead of one, or I have one extra token for defense. Um, worm bait, if you control an insect monster, you special summon two worm tokens. You cannot normal or special summon a level three or four monsters to turn you activate this card. So, that's fine. There's a little level one monster. So, once again, if I have this in my hand and I have this and I have insect queen on the field, there I go. I already went through all these obvious insects barrier just to come in, in combination with parasite, parasite, or DNA surgery. If he has nothing to really destroy cards, then I think I'll be okay. Or if I could get around him beforehand. Trap hole, just obvious trap hole. Um, target one insect monster you control, equipped it to this card. Pretty much, if I have this controlled with an insect monster, they have to attack the card it's equipped it to. And then, hold on. Well, this card is equipped to a, a monster. Each time your opponent normal special summons a monster, or activates a card or effects, place a scale counter on each face-up monster they control. And for each of those scale counters, they lose 100 attack and offense, so... Kind of help my Insect Queen. Or any card, really. Order to smash target one level two or lower non-token normal monster. Ooh, I might actually get rid of this. 
And if you do, destroy up to two or spell trap cards. I mean, I have two of them. I just realized this is normal monster. I haven't played some of these cards. All right, so I'll leave it in. If I need to swap it around, I can. Mirror Force, obvious. Trench Tribute, obvious. Um, spider Egg. When your opponent declares a direct attack, while well, you have three or more insect monsters in your graveyard, just negate the attack. And if you do, special summon three spider tokens. Once again, for Insect Queen, extra defense, and all I have are insect monsters, so to get three in the graveyard is really the only prerequisite to use this card. Dust Tornado, obvious. Adhesive Trap Hole, um, Adhesion Trap Hole. This is just to weaken any monster, so let's just say this is the only thing I have. Well, it'll now be able to take out one of the, my opponent's monsters because Ovid's are. It wasn't just 2,800. Um, DNA surgery to swap everything to insects and call the haunted. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. I thought I had a card where my opponent has trap cards or insect cards, but oh, yeah, duh, it's down here. Radicate and aerosol. Use that in combination, and let's say I'm losing, but every card on the field's already insect. Just destroy the whole field of monsters. So then Great Moth, just in case I think six turns is too long and I want to try for the four turns the next duel. Like I said, probably not going to do it. If I want to go a completely different route, I'll throw an Insect Queen. Basically, anytime this card destroys a an insect monster by battle, it gains 500. So another reason why I want my opponent's monsters to be insects. Not too sure if I want to use it, though, because it is one tribute for a 1900 to start. Kind of, um, it's not the best. Uh, Beatron. I can send one face-up spell or trap card I control to the graveyard. That Then target one level four lower monster in my graveyard. Special summon the insect monster in defense position, and I can only use it one per turn. Mm, kind of, oh, I don't know. A one for one, if I'm kind of just done with, like, insect barrier call the haunted. Something that's just, like, face-up still, and um, just whatever. Uh, another Gaki pin, just because it's a searcher, not a multiplication of ants. Enchanting Fitting Room. So this is pretty much a special summon. What is it? Pay 800 life points. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Pay 800 life points to excavate the top four cards of your deck and your special summon all excavated level 3 or lower normal monsters. I think I was going to go a different route with this. I put this together after a 12-hour shift at work, so now I'm realizing, oh, all these normal monster cards. This I'm probably going to swap out with another 4-star ladybug, actually. So let's go enchanting fitting room here. Sort that back out. Cool. All right, and then just the same thing: worm bait, eradicating aerosol. You know, just exterminate the field. The seal of Ori Calcos. Now, we're not gonna really use this card. I might just for fun. I just thought it was kind of cool because Weevil does use it, and I think it's called Waking the Dragons. So he has the card. Um. Yeah, I might do it for fun the second duel. We'll see. I think it's kind of funny to use. It's pretty cool to have. I um, and then Spider Egg once again, you know, declares an attack. If you have three or more insect monsters in your graveyard, you can negate it, especially some of the three spider tokens, which actually is really good as well. So this is Weevil. Um, so yeah, some of these are really powerful cards are listed in Weevil's decks. And just to... Throw up an example. Um, was it Nightmare Capsule? I think it's Nightmare Troubadour. Like, there's Man Eater Bug here. There's Potty Greed, Mystical Space Typhoon, Insect Barrier, DNA Surgery, Call the Hunted, Trap Hole. This is exciting. This is episode one. So, obviously, if there's any mistakes made during the duel, let us know. Uh, we are not pros. It's time to. Let him know that we are ready to go. Arr. Ready to do. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. So, this is the first episode of our True Rival series. Um, Daniel and myself will be playing random characters. So uh, I don't know who you have. I'm disappointed with who I have. Um, I'm happy with who I have. Okay. Well, <laughs> that is that is unfortunate for me because that can. I could assume Joey or Kaiba or Yugi, but that's okay. Or oh, shoot, even Pegasus. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Um, All right, there we go. Let's do this. Ah, fuck. All right. Uh, I like to go first, personally. That's fine. I'll get the extra card. We set up more traps and everything, which is all fun. So you have trap cards in your deck. Interesting. <laughs> oh, 
always. Or is there a deck that doesn't, especially with Yu-Gi-Oh? I, I actually think more like modern Yu-Gi-Oh now doesn't use many traps. Mirage, Mirage Dragon. Who has Future Fusion? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I can't even. I can't even think of a. A series one duelist that uses future fusion. So this has to be from like a video game or one of their most recent decks. No, this has no, to be no, Kaiba. No, 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 okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go for it. What are you? Uh... Oh, all I can do is end phase. Oh, so future fusion. Oh, that's right. You have to select it during the second. Started, so yeah. So I see. It's on the field three turns or two turns before you get to summon the card, but. Unless you can stop it, it's a great way to just get cards both in the graveyard and just big monsters on the field. Sounds good to me. I'm using Graceful Charity. You got anything for that? Yes, yes I do. Wait. Let's inflict pierce. Well, okay, hold on. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Oh, boy. All right. Well, that's fine. Now I got to discard. <laughs> I got to discard, too. Ooh, I don't know if I want to discard that or not. Um. Oh, this is tough. I might say goodbye to this specific combo and stick with these. Oh, no, but then I don't have anything to use. Oh, man, this is tough. But please, show me your worst. Okay, um, I gotta discard two cards, and that's already trouble. I think... <laughs> I think I'm gonna discard, and this is gonna give away exactly what I'm doing, so... Exactly who I'm using, so, uh... I was say, Graceful Charity, I don't know who would use it, so I can think of like one or two characters maybe, but that's about it. So for whatever and reason... I could be wrong, considering how many options there are for video games on top of it. So... I just saw a flash of what was there, and you're like... <laughs> it's pretty obvious who I'm using now. <laughs> Alright. So... Ta-da! Um, I'm going to try with this one. Honestly, I don't know how well this is going to be, but I'll have a... Oh, and I just remembered a card you're using. Son of a... Oh, no. Okay, that's fine because I don't think... And I could be wrong, but I don't think it matters. All right, um... That's, that's it for me. Oh, boy. That's. Let's uh, show off some cards. Uh, no, nothing to chain at this very moment in time. Hmm, which cards shall I go with? And I don't think you know, I. Let's just go for the big boy right out the gate. Barely, uh, ver barely visible. There we oh, go. Oh shoot! This okay? Yep, I am facing a weird Kaiba deck. Let me view this graveyard really quick. Um. I am too, ironically, which is funny. I would assume Mokuba, but... Alright, whatever. I don't even think Mokuba was on the wheel. How do I close... How do I close this graveyard view? <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Oh, cancel. Hit cancel, because I do the same question. Oh, there it is. Okay. As we learn how to use Dueling Nexus... Oh my gosh. Yeah. And as true Kaiba, yeah, I was... you just gotta go full on towards your face, otherwise it would just be a bad front to the true Dragon Master. So I'm gonna activate a card in response and bring back one of Weevil's best cards. Um, nice, nice. Alright, so, okay, cool. So what I'm actually going to do, and this is pretty cool because to use Insect Queen's effect, I mean, to battle it with it, I need to sacrifice a card. And yeah, but it also summons its own sacrifices with those tokens. But because oh, you... No! No! So now I'm going to... Oh, shoot, hold on. So let me just reread this really quick. Cannot declare an attack unless you tribute one monster. Hmm, I wonder which monster I'm going to choose. Once per turn, during the end phase, this card destroyed a monster by battle, which I won't because you have no monsters. Oh, yes. Okay, so now I'm also going to summon... And it's weak, but I'm just going to go for it anyways. Pinch Hopper. Um, oh, no, please don't. 
So Pinch Hopper. <laughs> hey, and if you go over this, well, I still. To be fair, that's only two thousand six hundred. Oh, those two equal that. So that, that times two would be four. Ooh, five. You know what? Just because. I'm oh no! Oh, you. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, you no! Yes, I'm gonna activate Pinch Hopper's ability. You had Mirror Force. Does this let me? Can I special summon this to defense I mode? With that straight out the game. All right, just cancel. I'll be real, I could survive the hits, and especially since what I'm gonna summon next turn. But still, that would have hurt. <laughs> so I'm hope. So it lets me special summon a monster. Okay, good. So I'm just gonna special summon a monster in defense mode, and that's oh, it. Dang it. That oh, that was horrible. I just. You had Mirror Force, and now you could summon this monster? Oh man, oh man, oh man. You know what, I don't usually summon in these positions, <sighs> get him, but I'm just going to summon him out front, because it'd be an insult to... Holy mo- <laughs> Must be a fusion <laughs> Oh, that's what you did. Oh, the five-headed dragon. Oh my gosh. I actually have three of those. I'm sure you decks. do. Both card arts. Oh gosh. Oh, oh gosh. I'm about to. <laughs> no! Oh! Yes, good. I should have used it. I had. I was gonna wait for you to summon another monster. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Well, we knew Weevil couldn't oh. be Kaiba. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Let's go ahead and just activate this too, and go ahead and summon this. You another five-headed dragon. And the other card art. Like I explained uh, when uh, I uh, was doing the deck. I like to have the multiple card art. This stuff is... Because it looks cool. Oh, this is dual over! <laughs> I don't... Because you have piercing damage thanks to this damn dragon's rage. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's over already. I still wish you were... So you would click EP, end phase? I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Oh, gosh. Well, but we... That. There is one card that I really want to play. Okay. I... It breaks the rules, but I break the rules for a reason. I don't understand, but okay. You I really... I understand once you see what card this is. You wanted to use Red Eyes? Do you remember why I want to use that card? Mm. What was the first deck that I ever beat you with? Oh, yeah. Ha ha ha. Your uh, dragon deck. So, I, I, as I explained when I was explaining the deck, I'm, t I'm switching it out for something else. But for our first duel, I was really hoping to throw this card on the field just because of our history and for fun. Just to make us both smile, because it's the Red Eyes <laughs> deck. The first deck I beat you with was a Red Eyes Dragon deck. So, oh, boy. Again, it's not a smart play to replace two 5,000 five headed dragons, but I, I, I had to do it first duel, because I got to take it out after this. And I mean, you're going to win. I figured it was funny. You're going to win regardless, but what all I can do is Dark Hole. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that's, that's it. I have nothing else. Got rid of Two five-headed dragons either way, so... But, no yeah, but you would have won. Like, we... Oh, well, yeah. But you you won this way. duel. You won this duel. I'm not even, like... This is... This is pointless. I should just, like, surrender. I'm gonna play it out, but... No, I was gonna say, you gotta go to the end, because... That's how true men duel with the heart of the cards. Okay. Women, of course. <laughs> Alright, let's... What's up, gosh? Also, <laughs> oh, it won't let me bring back the five-headed dragon. No, they were spe they were special summoned in a but weird still, way. Red Eyes is back for the next time. Just when I thought I would have. Oh gosh, I am surprised that all. Oh my god, Future Fusion that and Dra Dragon's yeah. Mirror. Future Fusion, Dragon's Mirror. Oh my 
gosh. Also, the one card that was banned that's in my side deck, I still don't know if I can use depending on what we're Oosh. doing here. No, we're not playing um, with a ban list, so you should be able to use it. Yeah, so I'm hoping to put that in because it'll be fun. I can use it. Well, there was my strongest defensive monster I have in this deck, so there's nothing I can draw that's going to help me. Yeah, that would have helped me and multiple turns ago. Card, I, I am able to stall, so like I said, I love options. Does yeah, it's... Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> you just... I just drew him last turn. And you just drew Blue Eyes this turn. This turn? I, you know, Talk, talk about the cards playing in your favor. You drew, like, the perfect cards. <laughs> Two five-headed dragons. <laughs> a blue eyes right after Kyle. Okay. Let, let me have it. Oh, yeah. I'll let my buddy... Yeah, of course, of course. Brutal overkill. Not only did you give... <laughs> not only did you give me the chance. Um... So what I just realized is we didn't... I still had this set to one, a single duel, not two... So just reload. Let's reload and just do it again. Right. Technically, because I lost, I should be choosing first or second. But that's fine. Oh gosh, I would. Yeah. So go ahead. Oh, do you want to go first or second? I'll I'd want. Second. I'd want to go second. I need the extra. I need every single card I can right, get. So since I won, I'll go first since you got second. Okay. Cool. Ooh. ooh. No. Ooh. Mm, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You hate when I do that, don't you? I got a completely different set of cards in my hand. I hey, don't here. don't know if this is better or good. <laughs> I don't know if this is better or worse. Uh, oh gosh. Better? Because I don't have the setup I had last time. Okay, that, so, that's always nice. You'll have a better start, hopefully. And uh. I will this turn. Don't get me wrong, dragons are awesome and will still be able to stall really well, but I also don't have the heavy hitter right out the gate like I like to have. Well, let's give me some oh. time. Oh. And swords are revealing light. That's that's my turn. A face down, a set, and the swords. Let me be. <laughs> I need all the time I can get, and even then I don't think it's enough. <laughs> I could have my whole deck in my hand. I don't know if I could do it. I mean, there are some... Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to risk it. Just get rid of it. Get rid of it now. Oh, oh, oh. That's rude. Oh, I could have done that. Mm, well, I don't want to do that yet. So, this card... Okay, I want to use that later on rather than now. Um... I pro am pretty sure oh, I what that face down card really is. Really hoping you didn't have that. Okay. But I'm going to attack it anyway. So. Ha -ha. Oh, dang it. When, what, what I thought it was. It's not right. a great card. Every old deck and even deck that uses, you know, the old theme has that card. It's, a, it's, yeah, it's, great, it's good. No matter what deck you're running. It's good, but it's not anything but. Like a trap card, so pretty much. It's... That I wanted to attack with the weaker dragon. Sorry, I didn't realize I didn't hit end phase. Oh, it's good. It's like, you know what? Even if you have that 2,000, I only take 600, and I know what you have on the field. So, uh... after wiping out the magic card, I was hoping to have the field empty and, you know, let that just ruminate right there. It's your turn. There's. It can... doesn't matter. I have nothing to use. Go ahead. I'm going to activate uh, it. What do I have? Yeah, he uses Thunder Dragon. Oh, I know, I know he does. I know he does. It's quite nice when you're running multiple Dragon Egg. Plus, now my deck gets shuffled, so hopefully I'm going to get something better. Because right now, I'm not in the best you know, location. Hey, yeah, please, stay in that location. <laughs> All right, cool. No, I, I want to be able to get my big oh dragons my back out. <laughs> Wish I could draw a monster. All right, I'm done. <laughs> One set. I'm, I'm getting monsters, but I can't summon any of them, so I, I get to Uh. 
me look at this graveyard here. Um, nope. I don't want that yet. I feel like you just drew Monster Reborn. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, no, not Monster Reborn. I actually didn't put that card in the deck, surprisingly. I don't remember him using it, so... I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in the anime. Uh, I didn't see it, and I didn't think of it, because I have my <laughs> own cards. Like, I prefer Call of the Haunted and stuff like that a lot of the time. I get you. Because because it's a trap card, I can use it at any time, and then it's good for, oh, you plan to attack? Now I bring back blue eyes. So I, I like that option better, so... Can't believe you... Gonna attack? Can't believe you rolled Kaiba. Oh my gosh. But I didn't consider he, You said he didn't use them. So he doesn't even use Insect Knight. <laughs> then I'm like, then I got Joey, which I'm like, yes, red eyes, I have full deck, I can beat you with red eyes again. And it's like, no, okay, can't keep that one. Kaiba, I'm like, oh, this is too perfect. Yeah, so the, that's the... I the red eyes for fun. Then, of course, I removed it for the second duel because... Right, of course. Yeah, oh, rules, gosh. Even if it was just for personal you and me reasons. I wanted to use him later, but at least he still gets the power up for get, and gets rid of your other card. Ooh, no. I don't think there's anything in my graveyard I can use, so I'm just going to go with this. I'm going to half it to 11. Ooh, that, 14. That, he gets, uh, he banishes up to five spells from your opponent's graveyard and gets 300 attack for each then that's why. banished card. Yeah, that's why he was going to go to 25, but now he's at 14 instead of... Or so, yeah. So that's why, if you're wondering... It's still 14 instead of 11. Right. Your math was correct. It just, it still went up 300. I get you. Yeah. So. That's why I wanted to use it later after you would use more spell and draft cards. Because it would do more damage. Yeah, well. I'm a turn away from loss, so. Yeah, Here. Right. If you get the big bugs, I'm in trouble. But until then, I'm just going to keep booping you. <laughs> Oh gosh, there ain't nothing I can do but this. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And I don't have any traps to stop it. I'm gonna set a card, and for whatever it's worth, I'm gonna activate Insect Barrier so any insects can't attack me. <laughs> I know you don't have any, but you know, just in case. Um, yeah. Well, you might as well do it for entertainment purposes. So yeah, the first one, the. Oh, I, I drew a card I can't use. Good. So the first uh, roll I did, which was on our test video, was Bakura. And I think out of all the decks, that was the one I wanted the very least. Weevil, probably second. Rex would have been third. Then I think Bandit Keith. Yeah, one of the things... And then the rest wouldn't even matter. It went from Bandit Keith right into Kaiba. I think it was Kaiba or Joy that... I would have... Oh, thank God, not Keith. I would have been... I remember the video just clenching, going, oh, no, please not Keith. Keep going, Keith. I was... And it barely went I would have... Like, I would have oh, loved the machine deck over an insect deck. Oh, gosh, dude, thank I you. I can't get behind Keith's play style a lot of the time. Oh, the man, I wish you were... Okay. Like, I didn't want Bakura, because I, I don't get his deck. You know what? I, I don't want Keith... I'm I'm attacking you. I'm attacking you with this thing. I don't care. It's 800 attack. <laughs> Dude, at this point, it's one of those, I'm going to boop you, and even if I go out, at least I boop the snoot, as uh, my friend Nick and Matt use. It's like, hey, I'm not going to win, but I'm going to boop the snoot. And I'll miss the, the face down you have. And okay. Honestly, I think I should have let you keep that. I would have been fine with you giving me one of yours. That's why I put that there was a bluff. Yeah, I, as soon as I saw it, I was I figured. Destroyed that and spent something important. I figured. I still can't do anything. Good. I need about nine more turns of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, ooh. You said nine more turns. I have at least eight more to go. Trust me, I can't use it yet. Uh, I don't want to use it yet. I'll put it that way. All right. Um, the the Goki Pan up. Uh, the Goki Pan um, revenge. Oh, at least it's 
need something I can do. Gosh, no, not again. Okay, I have three turns to find a way out of this. Oh, I wish I... Oh, I hope... Oh, no, I don't even want that. Oh, I know what I do want. I know what I do want, and it would be great if I drew it. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Please, no. Another... I, I'm hoping what I've got on the field is good <clears throughs> enough, or what I have in my hand is good enough, but again, I'd have to be able to get it on the field first. All right, um... You know, preferably without dying from boops to the snoot. All right, three down, seven to go. Just double checking my face downs. I wish to, oh, if I had Insect Queen, I could speed this up. Dang it. I still... <laughs> um, so now you, you can. Know what? I'm gonna summon something else other than the, you know, big boy. Whatever you gotta. I'm fine with that, but you just gotta send those cards to the grave. Oh gosh, the ultimate dragon. Yeah, but look at my graveyard and look at I have three the three different uh, All original, arts. Uh, arts of I will the always guy. love I will always love the original art. Yeah, and just like I had in my real deck, those are the three uh, blue eyes that I actually have in real life for my dragon deck. I don't know if you remember again I I think I, I have them in my school <clears throat> I think I have those three as well in my Kaiba. Like, actual real-life Kaiba deck. Alright, um... Okay, cool! So I, I had, that's why I like <clears throat> the different art styles. They're just fun, and... You know, why have all the same thing? It makes it boring and repetitive. Okay, so... Oh, no. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm getting monsters. They're just... They're little... They're bugs! They're little... They're flies and... <laughs> flies and ticks! Like, they're... They're nothing strong, but... I'm gonna... Insects pack a punch when in an army, right? Unless, oh, you got something. Let's see what you got. Oh, of course it's mere... this this whole time because I didn't want to do it, but that's a bigger boot than I want to take right now. Oh, 2,200. It would have put you down to 34. Damn it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, um, still, the fact that you have something... That oh, of course. That, They're both destroyed. They both have to be destroyed by battle. This is just... Ridiculous. Okay. I was really hoping I could use their effects, but nope. Alright, well, that's probably all I'll be able to do, because here comes your fusion. Ah, gosh. Yep. <laughs> and again, I'm using the original <clears throat> Blue Eyes. I have three different arts for Blue Eyes Ultimate, but... Since Aha! A second oh, adhesion oh, trap hole. Oh, no. So that'll... Oh, That'll weaken it nicely, but still not enough to where I want it. Insect Queen still couldn't even take it out. If I saved my other adhesion, I would have been able to do it. But I had to use it. What was that? Trihorn? No, it wasn't Trihorn. That was, uh... I forget what it was called. Whitehorned. Yeah. Which, speaking of which... Since you're not weak, I'm going to bring out that dragon you were worried about. <laughs> and because it gets, it banishes those, it goes to 28. I'm hoping you don't have yet another adhesion. I have one somewhere, but not in my field. And obviously not in my hand, because I don't have a hand. <laughs> oh my like gosh. What? Tell me there's something you could have done that you didn't realize. <clears throat> no. Oh, I attacked the one you didn't want me to attack? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Actually, no, I prefer that one right now. Alright, just gonna set you here and uh, keep going. I need Dragon's Rage so I can start doing the boops under the snoot. Or, uh, as long as... I keep up to. Oh gosh, what the heck do you do? If this card attacks, change for bench position. Okay, well that's not bad. Hey, I honestly put it in this deck because it's a good stall card. For yeah. The game. Because again, the two thousand attack. Honestly, again, I don't attack with him as often because of the weak defense, and he's easy to destroy at that point. But if you're backed into a corner, just like your two thousand defense. 
Mm-hmm. It's a good wall to s- just slowly protect yourself. So I'm glad you attacked this one because that'll destroy that. Sweet. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, at least I didn't have anything more than just the one level four. Um, mm-hmm. Well, then I guess I end my turn. I kind of wanted him on the field so I could summon something else next turn. But, uh, all right. <laughs> I mean, I'm drawing monsters, but I ain't drawing anything else. There are some cards in here that could save me. But it wouldn't be enough to win. It would just be enough to clear your field. So, well, I, I go. That, 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 that's that. That is, that is probably yeah. that. Let me just see what's in here worth getting back. I guess I could have done that. Um, I'm going to go ahead <clears> and uh, start... Oh boy! You don't I have. I'm just gonna say I really like this card art for five headed. I like the other one too, of course, but this one's cool. Really cool. Yeah, this one's really nice. So the good news is you can't pierce, but the bad news is um, I got nothing else I could do <laughs> unless I get my mirror force. But you know, um, I'm doing this for a reason. It has its attack. And no. Defense, yeah. Well but... aware. That'll let me summon something else next turn. So well aware. That's at least a good start if I can't boop you to death this way. Uh, I was really hoping. Okay. Cause I, I'm. <clears throat> Hoping you don't have another man eater bug. Oh, thank goodness. Now I know I only get to do. Oh, shit. You can do stuff. Oh, that's right. He gets the. Oh, man eater bug. <laughs> that's the exact card I need, need but it's not going to help. It's um, only half of what you have left, but it's. Ooh, ooh. Well played, good sir. I mean, against that, it actually is worth it. You could clash, and we could uh, both go to the grave. No, because again, I, I want the bigger boy. I have plans. So. Well, I guess that's what I'm going to do to you then, because I'm not really going to let that happen. Unless you have something to stop it. I don't know if I have something to stop what you're planning. So, we're going to... This gonna is helpful. That is helpful. This is helpful. Okay, I actually have a... Uh... Okay, so what I'm going to do now... No, no more plans. Battle phase, attack. You still need to have DNA surgery. <laughs> I know, I've been waiting for it. Oh, no. I do have it. Oh, no. If I, it's, I, that's why I activated it, and I was like, I'll get it. I, I have to get it, right? No, of course not. Um. Oh, it has to go in face-up attack position. Oh, that is just... Hmm. That's... Can I cancel this? I don't want to use its effect anymore. Uh... Gosh. Dang it. I didn't... I... You yourself up for failure, did you? Yeah. Fair enough. Do I want to out it in a way where I don't have to worry? I'll take 1,400, but... Not going to do much... Basically, you have to attack the insect that's equipped to, and every time you summon a monster, you get tokens on each one of your monsters, and each token reduces your attack and defense by 100 each. Very, very minimal, but yeah. I mean, I might as well take what and I can. Hugo, minimal can no, a not, in, not in my position. This is not going to help me oh, at all. Hey, this is one of the cards that I didn't know if it would work at all anyway. Well, I can't use it, but... Hey, that's that's good. It's not like... You gave me so many turns open, I had just an 800 attacking go- Gokipan. <laughs> just attacking. If I just had more and you had the Mirror Force still... Uh, if I had Dragon's Rage, I would have been able to whoop you to death by now. Mm. But I cannot, so... Uh, 20... It's over. Uh, it's It's over. Yeah. I like, yeah, like I said, this is, uh, if it wasn't 
forced attack mode. I didn't read it completely. That was my own bad. No big deal. Make mistakes. Yep, go for it. Game over. Well, uh, to be fair, I had Lightning Vortex in my hand for the longest time. So I could have discarded a card and just destroyed all your face up position monsters. And you would have been in trouble. I also had two Thunder Dragons that I kept trying to summon in my hand. And oh, I also had gosh. Mirror Force on the field. Another Mirror Force? So oh my mirror. gosh. So. All I had face down was um, Spider Egg. Pretty much when you make a direct attack, it negates it. As long as I have three insects or more in my graveyard and summons three spider tokens in defense mode. Could have really used that, honestly. That's what I was hoping I could put Kamakiri in defense mode, but like I said, whoops. No big deal. Um, Man-eater bug, obviously, in defense mode. Was going to get rid of that damn five-headed dragon. He never drew those. Um... Torrential didn't get to use the first duel. DNA surgery, I didn't see. That was unfortunate because that was what I was really looking for when I had insect period. Duel when you had insect yeah. Been but no, I just. I'm sure there is a really good Weevil setup somewhere. But when I looked at the, the monster choices, I was just. I just didn't know what yeah. to do. I could have. I just was. Uh, one part of my uh, deck in monsters that you didn't see, and it was the dark hex sealed fusion, because I didn't know if that would allow me to summon the five headed dragon since it's dark, but I didn't know since the five headed dragon needs dragon monsters if that would work or not. So I put it in there to try it. Otherwise, you saw all the monsters in my deck. I think I think it does, but I, dueling nexus will say otherwise. Okay, so, three. so yeah, no, there's. Now that I got like actually did this, it's been a long time. This is gonna be this is gonna be fun. So that was episode one. So for a win, now you are allowed to use a respin. But if you use your respin, you can't go and revert back to your first spin. So you would have to use your respins some um, choice. So for example, let's say I'm gonna roll the wheel, and we're taking out Kaiba and Weevil now of the wheel. So Kaiba and Weevil are no longer in the wheel now. Okay, cool. That'll make it more fun. So now they're no longer options. And you, and I'm thinking, and we'll... Yeah. Well, I'm all for Keith. I'm just Bakora and Rex. I'd... Oh, yeah. I'll... I mean, he's not going to be good against, like, Yugi or Joey, but... I think... And Pegasus is... Pegasus is tough, but the rest I think would be good. Anyways, um... So, yeah. You, uh, want a, a respin, so... Whether you use it or not, it's up to you. You could bank them, or you could use it, and if you use it, it's gone until your next win. Uh, but if you respin and get Keith... But if you get Keith after your respin, you're stuck with them. So, that's how it is. And But that's how we're going to go upon that for right now. I'm sure there could be suggestions. Um, we'll see what happens. I still want to think of like an end of this first series, like first season, I'm saying. So, we got the Duelist Kingdom season right now. After this, we'll add, like, Merrick and Ishizu, even Duke, you know, a couple of the other ones, as long as they're possible 40-card decks, and actually, like, com like somewhat competitive. Like, I don't want just random 40 cards thrown in there, and all of a sudden, it's like, it's, they're going to lose. Like, that's why I had to take out Bones. And even with the video games and other stuff right. onto it, some of those are, you know, not worth it if you need to have three of the same card just to make a 40-card deck, and they are all just... Yeah, it, different, you know, theme decks, and you're just like, all right. Exactly. So, oh yeah, we'll take a look at the list after we finish our current wheel. So, but yeah, that's that's episode one. Um, if we messed up, let us know. If there's suggestions, comments, whatever you got for us, let's let us know. Um, I also don't know how the hundred percent how this is gonna upload with volume so that's something to test out so if anyone has if it does come off a little like quiet if there's any suggestions there let us know with that please um other than that uh thank you for checking us out uh, any last words keep it doing <laughs> well it's been fun uh i'm gonna actually end the recording here until next time guys thank you and have a good one see ya